What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the Donator Zone. I've done one of these videos in the past, but I figured it's been a while. Let's update it. So this one is going to be released and uploaded on the 11th of August. So that's when it's up to date. Uh, obviously, we plan to do many changes, many improvements along the way. Basically, almost every single update. Uh, so expect the zone to change and improve. But at least for now, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we'll talk about is what is in the current donator store at the moment. You have mystery boxes, elite mystery boxes, uber boxes. These are random chance boxes. I have opening videos on my channel. Uh, you know, just the newer the video, the, the more accurate it will be. Bonus experience scroll, scroll, which gives you double experience for 60 minutes. Barrels crate, which gives you a random barrels item. Pawns rapier, which I'll show you the stats now. These are the stats, and then keep in mind that it is faster than a whip. It, uh, it hits, uh, it's, I think it's the same speed as knives, or darts, or maybe, I think it's knives, throwing knives. We have the infinite stew, which I will show you that. It is a item that will heal you every 30 seconds, every 36 seconds, and it'll heal you 15. And as you can imagine from the name, it never runs out. You can also upgrade it from, with an event item. Dwarf's Cannon Set, which is pretty self-explanatory. If I didn't go over the prices, I uh, will examine everything now. One point equals one dollar. You have a Melee Combat Starter Set, Magic Combat Starter Set, and Range Combat Starter Set. I will show you each one of these. So first we have the Melee Combat Starter Set, which gives you Void and the Pawns Rapier, as well as some additional stuff like Super Combats and Observer Ring. This is the Range Combat Starter Set. Which gives you again full void. You get 3,000 black chin champas, some dragon bolts, as well as an archer's ring. And then lastly, we have the magic combat starter set, which has an Ivan staff, a seer's ring, some magic combat potions. This is a huge rune pack, which gives you some runes. We have the treasure finder 2077 schematic. If you examine that, it tells you what you need to make it. I'll show you what that does. So after making the item, you'll get this thing right here, the Treasure Finder 2077. All you have to do is use this on a clue scroll and it will automatically complete it. This works with every single tier of clue scrolls, including Masters. We have lightsabers, blue, green, purple, and red. I'll show you the stats. Keep in mind, it does have a special attack that is very similar to the Karasi's special attack. If you remember the Karasi's sword from older RuneScape. It also has an additional bonus where it does double damage on pests, which includes all of the pest control monsters, giant mole, the cow fight queen, and the massive undead cow boss. We have the book of terror and the book of light. I'll show you these stats respectively. The book of terror is the Sliske god book. These are the stats. The book of light is the Saren god book. Both of these are also obtainable from master clues. You have a pet mystery crate, which I will show you the pets right here. These are all of the pets, all the, the uh, cosmetic pets, but there is also a chance to receive one of the legendary companions, one of these three right here, and I'll talk about those in a minute. Adventurer's Approval, which gives you 5,000 5, adventure points. I have a dark stone, which is used to make uh, dark weapons, one of the which uh, requires the pawn's rapier, so I mean it's kind of a... a you know, it's a it's a more late game item. Large cash bag gives you anywhere from twenty to twenty five mil cash. Elven venom cure, which is an infinite uh, venom cure. Farmer's teleport manual, which is I'll show you what it looks like. It has herb teleports, fruit tree teleports, and tree teleports. So if you just go to fruit tree, and then it'll take you to whichever patch you want, bring you right there. We have the three legendary companions: the Doblin Banker, Master Zen, and Skeleton Warlord. I'll show you what these do. The Goblin Banker, as you can imagine, it is a bank. We have Master Zan, who is a uh, who can give you Slayer tasks, and it can also reset your Slayer task from anywhere. Uh, he, uh, when he resets your task, it does not cancel your uh, progression, uh, your streak rather, and then you can just get a new task immediately. And then the last one we have is the Skeleton Warlord, which will boost your melee stats. And this is essentially, there's no timer on this, you can just infinitely boost your stats whenever you want. Last two things, we have the PV, uh, the Ancient Warrior's Equipment Crate, which I'll show you that in a sec. And then we have Primordial Boots Ornament Kit. This just uh, is used on Primordials to give you Primordial Ore, which is just a gold attached to it. 
These right here give you a random uh, PvP equipment piece. If you're familiar with PvP, we we just got. I gotta. I'm gonna check the odds on these because if that that is really bad. <laughs> that is such bad luck. But it's like Zerils, Morgans, Vestas, all that stuff. That is incredibly bad luck. Okay, yeah, we opened up the other six that were in the shop, and we, yeah, okay. So we did, we, we just got incredibly bad luck. If somebody bought those and got those five in a row, that is, yeah, that, that would be really, really sad. But, I mean, this was obviously a lot better. We ended up getting both of the, the good weapons. So they do degrade. They have, I believe, 60,000 charges. I'm not 100% sure how it works versus PvP and PvM. Uh, I still have to mess with that a little bit, but, uh, yeah, that is an item that exists, and that is it for the Donator Point Store. Okay, so this is the donator zone. Colon colon DZ to get here. Now, first things you're going to notice, we have this teleport crystal right here. This is the same teleport interface that you can find at home. It is just a little, you know, better. And you also have a last teleport option on it, so you can go to the last place you were teleported. You have the Mage of Zamrak here. You have this healer, which is upgraded. Heals your prayer, cures your venom. I believe the only thing it does not do is restore stats, is if you had lower stats. You'll find this little bank area right here. You'll have Grand Exchange, a Banker, you'll have a Decanter. This one is a little bit better because it doesn't uh, charge you and it has you know a little nicer inf interface. These traps right here are, these are the ones from Rogue's Castle. So if you wanted to see from those without being in the wilderness, they're right here. I don't know if anybody knew that. Uh, this NPC I'll talk about in a minute. You have Wealthy Tourist, which is an NPC you can pickpocket from. Has a couple interesting drops have an adventurer which is a rather new NPC that you can kill I'll show its drops these are the adventurers they just have some kind of random drops coal maple logs grapes you can get black dehyde if you're an iron man and then you also have some interesting darts drops as well as maybe some potions that uh, newer players might want for shards with the big drop being the Robin Hood hat you have the drunk slayer master right here who can uh, imbue your slayer helmet for 50 million coins have a machete seller right here. Now this is for uh, Dragonstone, Onyx, and Zenite members. So the minimum requirement to even use this person is uh, $250 donated for the Dragonstone rank. I'll show you the stats of those now. So first we have the Dragonstone right here. I believe it is the same speed as a whip. So that would make this weapon actually better than a whip. You have the, I believe Onyx would be next, which is just a little little bit of a bonus from that one. And then Zenite, of course, which would basically be almost a Tent Whip. I think it might even be better than a Tent Whip, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And it's essentially just a cheap weapon you can buy if you have those ranks. So now here we have the Slayer Master. This is just a normal Slayer Master. We have Ruby. This, In order to use this shop, you need to have $100 donated, the, the Ruby rank. Only has a handful of things in the shop, but she also, if you talk to her, will give you the ability to change your home location to the donator zone. This just costs 5 mil coins, but again, to do this you need to have uh, the ruby rank. Have a crafting store in here. It's the exact same store as before, but you can also, you know, tan your leather pretty quick. There's a nice uh, spinning wheel right next to a bank. This is one of the better spots to do it. In this house right up here, you have Walter, which is just a regular general store, and Thomas, which is just a regular crafting, fishing, and hatches store. It's also one of the better places to cook on this range right here. You have this fairy, which will teleport you to the uh, Zenaris, the fairy ring spot. Over here, you might have noticed you have a coffin. If you die and you have the this place set to your donator zone, you'll spawn right here, and then you can just come, by, uh, come pick up uh, your items from the coffin. Have a ladder down here, which will take you upstairs into like the main area, which I'll, well, not necessarily the main area, but I'll show you that in a minute. Before we go up there, we do have a mining area over here. We have a furnace, anvil, all of that. And then up here, we have a room with some Addy and uh, Rune. You can go up this ladder through the tunnel. You can fight these monsters over here. These are Dagonoth Princes. These are basically just mini versions of the Dagonoth bosses. They have the same drops, but they're obviously don't they don't have the pet drop. That's the only thing that's not on the drop table. But you know, if you just wanted an axe or a ring real quick, this would be a good way to farm them. You can also you know go over there and there's some more down there as well. So before we officially leave this area, the forester teleports you upstairs to the main area I was talking about, which is miscellaneous, etc. But it teleports you over here to the woodcutting area. There's teaks, mahoganies, and you also have a sawmill guy right here to turn them into planks. We also have a sand pit if you wanted to get some buckets of sand. 
So it is just miscellany and etc. If you come west towards this middle area, you can find some black chinchampas here that are not in the wilderness. You can also find some magic trees and yew trees next to this. Uh, there's some bank chests over here. Probably need to move it on this side, but. We also have a smelly tourist, which is similar to the other tourist, but all of his uh, all of his uh, pickpockets are herbs. So if you were an Iron Man and wanted to get some easy early herbs, this would be a good way to stock them up. Have some normal styles there, not too interesting. We also have another adventurer right there, as well as another wealthy tourist. We have a fairy ring here. You can get to the donator zone for free. All you have to do is use the fairy ring. I have a video on that as well. Or I will, if this comes out before it, which I think it might. <laughs> Another adventurer, and then you just got some coal mining over there. Not Nothing too span fancy, that's already normal stuff. It's not too much going on up here just yet. And then this ladder right here is the ladder that also brings you up here. It's this one right here that we saw. Last thing in the zone is the Emerald Lounge. This needs $25 to get here. Come down this ladder. Uh, that's just a crystal chest. You've got the same teleport thing here. you got some gangsters over here. Not too many interesting things on their drops, but they do have crystal uh, half keys and uh, clue scrolls. I'll show. So these are their drops. Do you have a couple rune darts? Uh, almost every tier of clue scroll and then half keys. So it's a good consistent way to grind those if you really wanted to. And then the most important thing here in this shop is Rosalo, which has some interesting things. These synthetic logs are used to give you organic components. These generic armor are used to give you generic components. And if I didn't mention it earlier in the Ruby shop, there's an item called Black Lotus. Uh, Shoutouts to anybody who knows what this reference is, anyways. But uh, this right here gives you dark components if you disassemble it. So that is it for all of the features of the Donator Zone. There are a couple additional perks that you can use. Uh, for example, if you do fight caves, your waves will start at different points. So if we look at this thing again right here, we have, if you're a default person, you will start fight caves at wave 50. If you're a sapphire donator, which is five, just $5, you'll start at 51. Emerald, which is 25, 52, 53, 55, 57. And then if you're at the biggest donator, you'll basically just start on Jad. This also implies to the Inferno, which is right here, TI equals the Inferno. So if you're at the final wave, you would start at 60, where I believe there's 69 waves total. And you can see the default is at 25. Another perk is you will now receive adventure points for logging in every day. Now, if you're a non-donator, this also applies to you, but you only get 10 points. If you're a $5 donated, you will get 25 points. And then you can see the numbers. So, for example, if you donated $1,000 every single time you log in, well, every day you log in, not every single time. <laughs> every day you log in, you'll get 1,000 free adventure points. Another benefit that Dragonstone donators get, this is going to be changed to Diamond donators in the next update, so just for future reference, Diamond donators will be able to do this, but at the moment it's only Dragonstone, so uh, you can use a looting bag from anywhere. You do not have to be in the wilderness to use a looting bag, so that is a nice extra bonus feature for right now Dragonstone, but this, up, this following update will be Diamond, so if you're watching this video a couple weeks from after release, expect it to be available to Diamonds. So there's some other various perks that um, either are working or not working correctly. Uh, some some ranks only work for uh, non-donators that have the actual donator rank. So for example, an Iron Man, let's say Lucky Lion has $100 donated and some of the features won't work for them. Uh, so that's why I'm not going to include them in this video until they're 100% working for everybody, all ranks allowed. So that's why it doesn't seem like there's as many benefits or you might be familiar with some benefits that... Uh, were removed on accident. Uh, for example, the donator, whenever you die, there's a 1 million coin fee to get your stuff back. It was free to uh, to certain ranks, but it didn't work for Ironmen, so that's kind of got, you know, got a little tricky and messed up, but that's something we plan to fix soon, and in the next video, hopefully that will be talked about as well. If you have any suggestions, any ideas for any additional benefits, if there's anything you think I missed, because the odds of me forgetting something are very high, 